Hi guys. So much has happened today, or well, yesterday, in the Bravo universe. I couldn't keep up. I wanted to do this review in the morning when I was going to work. Um, but I had a lot of things going on. So, but every time I came out of a meeting, someone had left. Someone was pregnant. Someone is divorced. Oh my god, guys. Let's just get into it right now. So, first and foremost, Candice and her husband Chris, they are expecting a baby this year. Um Congratulate or uh, yeah, they're expecting a baby. Congratulations to them. Um, to me, this just confirms that she left on her own accord. She wasn't fired because can you imagine being pregnant in an environment where people hate you? Um, <laughs> I mean, or making your work life difficult, blaming you for stuff that's happened at the reunion or happened at um, fashion shows that no one wants to buy the fashions like. I understand why she left um, and apparently she was also told by you know the higher ups to not be as as aggressive or when I say aggressive I don't mean in like a in like an inflammatory way but you know how her mouth is very slick and in reunion she hasn't held back before but it's like she was holding back this reunion and we know why now because the higher ups said you know in the in the in the essence of moving forward we want you to not be as you know as as sharp as you are and that's why she was more reserved at the reunion she doesn't need this i'm sorry this is not the environment and the thing is i knew this girl was pregnant the way she was acting the fact that she left before the show even like the reunions even finished airing this is this is the yeah this this is this is what she needed to do i'm happy for both of them and this and i'm sure she'll be back i hopefully they give her a baby special because they've given they've given other people baby specials or like wedding specials and stuff so i don't see why that they can't next up um robin dixon confirmed what we already knew she's gone she's gone she's been she's been fired and she came out and said it on her podcast that no one is flipping this is to that she um is no longer gonna she's not gonna be on the show anymore she was there since the beginning and you know i used to like robin i thought like out of all the girls she was like quite normal and when i say normal i don't mean I just felt like she was down to earth. Obviously, she was talking about her issues like with her finances and how she lost the money and all that stuff. And I just thought she was quite relatable. But I honestly feel the reason she got fired is because of one. One didn't come to the reunion. I feel like if he had come to the reunion or a bit bit more forthcoming on the the season, she would have kept her job probably. And I also think her bum licking Giselle has also got her in this position because the backlash that Giselle has gotten and you, um over the reunion i'm sure the higher ups were like okay we need to get rid of one of them and for whatever reason they want it i'm assuming they're going to keep giselle so they had to get rid of robin um bye and then when i came when like i was coming back from work i see alexia and todd are, are heading to divorce todd filed for divorce um a couple of days ago are we surprised no um <laughs> i bet adriana isn't surprised all Adrian has got to drag her next season because last season she brought up that they're having marital issues or something like that, monetary issues, whatnot. And, you know, Alexia was, was, was like, everything's cool, everything's fine. But clearly everything wasn't cool, everything wasn't fine. I feel like he blindsided her. Like, I don't think she knew that he was going to do this or it was going to become public today. Um, do I feel bad? I mean, I, feel, I don't, I don't want to see someone's, the end of someone's marriage, but... I, I'm, this is this doesn't surprise me. He's he gives me he's a weirdo. He reminds me of Teresa Judice's husband and like a cop, like a police officer. There's something about him. The way he talks is just I I just never believed what he was saying. Also going back to Robin, do you think Juan will leave her now? And and when I say this, I'm not saying that I'm not promoting people getting divorced or separating. But he just seemed like he was one step out of the door. Um, years ago. And then they got married, allegedly, um, in private with just their family members. And all this stuff came up, like Canada Girl and all these things. I just feel like now that this show isn't there, he can cheat in peace. Or they can live separate lives. And I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't, you can tell me what you think. Now, allegedly, according to the Jasmine brand, NECA will not be returning next season. One, one season wonder. Now, can I just say something? Yeah. NECA... You came into this show too strong. Let's just say, when, like, let's just say Wendy didn't want you on the show because she wanted, she wanted to be the only Nigerian. Okay, let's just say that happened. Why had you allowed this to become your your biggest storyline? 
we didn't know that you were from Wisconsin, and I'll go into it more deeply in my review. I didn't know you were from Wisconsin. You you spoke about your fertility issues or, you know, going to the doctor. You did that maybe once or twice on the show. That should have been your storyline. You and Candice could have even had, like, something similar where you guys were supporting each other, helping each other. But you chose to bring the, that Nigerian nonsense onto the show. And for that, I can't fuck with it. I can't fuck with it because I'm Nigerian and you it just it put a bad taste in my mouth. Let me tell you something about Nigerian, this Nigerian people, yeah. In America, a lot of, like, the affluent Nigerian people go to, like, the DMV or Houston, okay? So a lot of people in, like, the D in the Maryland area, Houston area, they've got a lot of money. And I could just tell the type of babe Necker was when I first saw her on the screen. It was very much, my daddy's rich, my mum is rich, I come for money. You know, if you don't wear this nice bag, or you don't dress like this, if you don't wear designer, da, da, da. there's babes like her all over that area. I'm not, th this is no shade, but this is just what I've noticed from going to america and being in like nigerian communities is is very different to how nigerian people are here or maybe the, the type of nigerian people <laughs> i don't know i just feel like it's just a, it's just a different scene in in you know in america in general like you can make a lot of money and live a, a good life if you have a lot of money in nigeria in not nigeria in um in uh, in in like maryland area so she just gave me one of those babes that just it just gave me very i've got nice shoe i've got a nice bag if you don't have a nice shoe nice bag you ain't it like that's the vibe she was giving me and she just came off thirsty very thirsty i know this type of babe i know specifically this type of nigerian babe and yeah guys i mean i've even got some tea from the, the dmv area people in the dmv area saying that this is she is very thirsty she's always wanted to be on tv um and she let she let the the desperation of it go to her head, and I d I'm not saying that she shouldn't have been like felt away about Wendy saying she doesn't know her, but it, it seemed like she didn't know you like that. Come on the show and 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 you call someone's mama witch. We don't do that in Nigerian culture. I'm sorry, people might think oh it's not that serious. Call my mama witch. I'm gonna box you in your face. I don't even fight, but you don't call my mama a, a, a witch on international TV, and you think I'm not gonna try and square up every time I see you. It will never be good with you. And people are thinking Wendy's lying and stuff like that. No, no, no. I'm telling you, we don't call our, we don't call our elders, elder elder women witches, and and on um, publicly like that. And the Osu thing, I'm not even you. I'm not Ibo. I'm Yoruba. The Osu thing is a very, very, very taboo thing in the Ibo culture. And you brought it on the show. Well, you actually brought it on the show, and you didn't shut it down. Shame on you. Bye. And then we have Crystal. Crystal got her walking papers as well. She she didn't get a contract coming back, and she doesn't want to come back. Allegedly, I don't see how we are saying that she got she left the show and Robin got fired. But they both didn't. They're both not coming back. Both of them got fired. Um, do you know what? I feel like last season Crystal kind of came into her own. Crystal came into her own. Um, you know, the last couple of seasons she was a bit quiet. Here and there she might have a moment, but it was never, you know. But I, did, I feel like, how come Crystal is going and Dorit is still there? Dorit needs to be the next person to go. Ashley needs to be the next person to go. I, I'm so serious, Andy. Um, I actually, I didn't mind. I honestly didn't mind um, Crystal. But she doesn't want to be on the show anymore. And they didn't ask her back. So, But yeah, guys, that's all I've got. Um, apparently, I can't remember her name. But someone in the OC also got engaged. And I think that she was the one that was having... She was, did she, is she the one that had the affair on her husband and she's Tamara's friend and then Tamara brought it to the show but now she's getting engaged to the guy that did she leave her husband for? Do you know, I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing but I think that is that is the woman. So, you know, it was, it was a big exodus <laughs> on Bravo yesterday. People are fighting for divorce, pregnancies, engagements. Guys, I, 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 it's just a lot.